What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video on the game Area F2. So I've been receiving a lot of questions from you guys asking me what are the best settings and HUD to play in Area F2. So in this video, I'm going to go over every single detail to make your gameplay crisp, to boost your FPS and to essentially make you play like a pro. So if you are enjoying the content, make sure you press that subscribe button, hit a like on the video, drop a comment down below and let me know how many fingers you use to play on your device. And without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Roll the intro. Yeah. Baby, girl, you're so damn fine, no Wanna know if I can hit it from behind, though I'm sipping on you like some fun wine, though When it's over, I press rewind, though Talking bands, I got it Benjamins in my pocket Okay, so we're gonna get straight into it, guys. Now, before I even start, trust me, I've got the best tip for you Android users out there to be able to boost any game on your tablet before we even get into the settings on Area F2. I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So look behind me. I'm gonna go basically into settings, okay? This is gonna be very, the set is gonna be very similar on every single Android device. Now, all you need to do is go down and find where it says about tablet. You can't see it right now because my overlay's in the way, but you basically press about tablet, scroll down, and you will see a little option that says software information. Click into that, and once you're in this screen, you will see the fourth one down build number okay now this is a secret tip that not a lot of people on android know about if you tap build number seven times then you will unlock developer mode on your device meaning you can update your settings more than what you actually can on the device so once you've done that go back to your settings scroll all the way down and you will see an option right at the bottom called developer options click into that and in here you're going to be able to basically change any setting on Let's go. I thought I was about to sneeze you're going to basically be able to change any setting on your device it's gone okay you're going to be able to change any setting on your device and basically i'm just going to show you three small settings you need to change so if you scroll right down and you go to i believe where is it it is right down to hardware accelerated rendering okay now you'll notice here that above me it says force four times msaa is toggled on toggle that off because that'll boost your gameplay and your whole device in total now there's another option you can actually pick as well now the windows animation the transition animation and the animator animation scale they all are set at times 10 all you need to do is click on each one and put them down to five times that will basically make it smoother when you're actually scrolling on your tablet or your mobile device and that is all you need to change in developer options and you will notice a massive difference in gameplay so now we're going to get into the actual settings of Area F2. Okay, so to uh, to change the settings in the game, obviously go into your settings and we're going to start and make it as simple as possible for you guys. We're going to start with the basics, okay? So you have at the top of basics, you've got frame rate and graphics. This is pretty self-explanatory. I'm using a Samsung Galaxy Tab S4. So I've set my graphics to medium and my frame rate on max. Now, as long as your device doesn't overheat and you've got a sort of good-ish device, you want to always have your frame rate on maximum settings to, to maximize your FPS. Simple as that. Um, if you find that the game is slightly lagging and you're getting a bit of latency, you can always switch down to high or medium on frame rate. But I've found that the perfect sort of settings uh, for your graphics and FPS to boost them is medium and uh, medium graphics and maximum frame rates. Now, getting into the technical part. Now, you could, could just copy mine if you want to. These are I find are the best settings in the game. So we're going to start with peak and open scope. You're going to want to turn peak and open scope on. Okay, so that basically means that you'll be able to peak round corners because that is massively 
I mean, you have to be able to peek in area F2. You actually, it's simply a must. You have to be able to peek around corners and take out enemies. So you want to make sure that is on. Second one down, you have peek button turns camera. You want to turn that off because when you actually turn this on, when you actually peek in the game, it turns your camera into a weird angle and it really doesn't help you on gameplay. So make sure you've got that turned off. Uh, next, we're going to have peak mode. You really want to change this onto mixed because uh, it basically makes it available so you can be able to peak both sides and the camera doesn't move as much. So if you've got it on tap, um, you basically just tap it and it will tap into peak. If you've got it on hold, you have to hold the button. If you've got it on mix, you can either tap or hold each peak button. So you can kind of, you don't have to choose between tap or hold. You can just put it on mix, which is very, very easy in my opinion. Um, next, we've got the run and hide peak button. You want to turn that off as well. It just really doesn't help. I'm not even going to go into it because it is not of any help in the game whatsoever. And then obviously you've got scope mode. However you feel like you want to do this as well, you could put it on mixed. Um, so you, you can either tap or hold. Uh, I've got mine on tap because that's just what I prefer. Um, but those are basically the basic settings. So next, we're actually going to take a look into controls. Now, controls, uh, these are definitely to your preference. Again, I'm giving you tips that I think are the easiest controls to use because they did actually update the HUD. So it's much easier to use now. Now, I've got mine on the number three, which basically means left movement is fixed. So when you're actually moving your joystick, the joystick doesn't move around. So you don't have to like, uh, sometimes you get glitches basically where you, the joystick doesn't work sometimes. So you want to have set three um, and then the right fire button is fixed as well. So that doesn't move either. Um, so I wouldn't even bother about number two or number one. Again, if you, if you, this is to your preference, test them all out. But in my opinion, the best one is number three. Um, if you actually press customize just below that, we are going to go into the HUD. Now, the HUD in this game is very confusing because there is a lot of buttons. I mean, just look at the screen now. There's so many buttons to choose from. Um, I'm going to try and break it down to make it as easy as possible for you. Now, I personally am playing with two thumbs and two forefingers. So I'm using the four finger claw. So if you're not using the four finger claw, I wouldn't use these, these HUD settings. So... I have uh, above me on the left hand side, we've got peak left and peak right, which you can see just there. We've got peak left and peak right. Just below those, I've got my prone and my crouch. And those four buttons, I would literally only use my forefinger, my left forefinger for. That's all you need to use for those. Um, obviously, behind me, I've got my joystick. And there's one other thing as well, guys. I think they're going to update it in future updates, but. The auto sprint button is very bugged in this game. Basically, the auto sprint means that on the joystick, when you scroll up on the joystick, you'll automatically sprint, so you don't have to hold it. Um, there is actually a button just behind me, right here. Um, now, I've got that down there. Um, basically, all you need to do is click that uh, to sprint and click off of it to, uh, to unsprint as well. Um, I just find that having a button is a lot easier since they have that sort of sprint bug at the moment. So I would just leave it as that. Uh, we're going to go over to the right hand side now for my right forefinger as you can see in the top right We've got my aim uh, button my ADS button my fire button and my melee button You want to keep these generally close together uh, You want to have the fire button a bit bigger than the actual ADS button because you don't want to accidentally press the ADS when you're trying to fire um, And obviously when you're trying to melee someone and you're trying to melee through the wooden walls um, You want to have the melee button sort of close to your fire button as well uh, just below those I've got my UAV and my monitor on the far end screen and then obviously we've got vault as well which is very uh very useful when you're trying to get over obstacles the game does have an auto vault feature but when you're trying to vault through a window it doesn't so you actually have to press the button so you want to just have that available and easy to press uh getting into the bottom right i've got all of my gadgets and my interact stuff in a really easy way that i can just use my uh thumb I'm actually moving the screen around with we have my two weapons my health bar and we've got the reload button as well so feel free to copy this guys you've got the basic settings and you've got the HUD settings feel free to copy this um, and yeah that's basically it that's that's the HUD setting so we're gonna save those and next up we're gonna go into sensitivity so <coughs> <coughs> excuse me coronavirus um, sensitivity okay so I really haven't fiddled with this at all 
It's to your own preference. If you want to take, uh, if you want to sort of move your thumb right across the screen, then I would suggest low settings. The default is medium. I've tested it on medium and it still feels a bit slow to actually get your camera to move across the screen. Um, you kind of run out of space on your tablet. Um, so I would just set it for high settings and I literally haven't changed it from there. Feel free to change it yourself. I feel like the game is very, very optimized anyway. So even have it on, having it on just high settings is really, uh, really useful again feel free to customize that yourself um and that's basically it so there we go guys that is the settings of the game so I've, in this video i've taught you how to boost your fps using the android trick uh, i've taught you your basic settings your sensitivity and your hud if you've got um, any questions at all, feel free to comment down below and let me know what your sort of HUD is. And if I need to change anything myself, I'll always take some uh, feedback. I've been re playing really well at the moment. I'm grinding the leaderboard, so these settings are working for me. Um, so that's basically it, guys. So thank you for watching. It has been uh, a sort of shortest video, but I hope this helps you. Make sure you press that subscribe button and make sure you hit a like if you're enjoying the content. There's going to be more future videos coming. Uh, the next video will be a how to down actually download the game because I've been having a lot of questions from you guys. How, how do you download the game spit? Um, so thank you for watching, guys. I will see you in the next video. Yeah, boy! <laughs>